evicted. Good God Almighty, I could have fainted. But when I start thinking of the goodness of Jesus and everything he done for me, my soul cries out hallelujah. He walks with me. He talks with me. He tells me that I'm his own when my mother and my father forsake me. The Lord will lift me up. One thing have I desired, and I'm going. I'm going after. I gotta dwell. What you gonna do? I gotta dwell in the house of the Lord for the rest of my life. I gotta stay here. Mama prayed too many prayers. I gotta stay here. I've been sick, but I gotta stay here. I've been weary, but I gotta stay here. I've been lied on, but I gotta stay here. I've been mistreated, but I gotta stay here. I lost sight, but I gotta stay here. I will, I will bless the Lord. I shall not die. I shall not die. I dare y'all to say it with me. Say, I shall not die. I shall not die. My ministry can't die. My children can't die. I got too much I gotta do. Tell your neighbor, the enemy should have had you in a headlock and choked the devil out of you. But God said, live on. Said, live on. Live on, you're going through hell, but live on, they taking your money, but live on, they doing damage, but live on, I dare you to open your mouth and say, Lord, oh Lord, help me to hang on, help me to hold out, help me to stand the test, tell your neighbor, stand true to my calling. I need you to hook up with another woman or another man. Lock arms. Lock arms with somebody. Get somebody. Lock their arms. Lock arms and say the devil tried to kill me. I said the devil tried to kill me but I'm not going nowhere. I got to stand the devil tried to mess with my body, but I'm not going nowhere. The devil tried to mess with my children, maybe incarcerated, but I'm not going nowhere. As long as I live and trouble rise, I'm going to haste unto his room. I wonder if I got some women that'll open up your mouth and say, Lord,
Holy Ghost. I need every woman to get as close to the altar as you can. Every woman get as close to the altar as you can. Come on, get to the altar. Get to the altar. You're weary in your body, but get to the altar. You've got some struggles, but get to the altar. You've got some challenges, but get to the altar. People are talking about you, but get to the altar. God's going to meet every need today. Open up your mouth and begin to praise God. Praise Him, praise Him. Praise Him for what He's doing. Praise Him for what He's already done. Praise Ayah Shakaya. Come on, out of the stands. Come as close as you can. Come on, women, you're bringing your need. You're bringing your situation. Just get as close to the altar. Come on, get as close as you can. Come closer, women. Come closer. Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Ministries are getting ready to explode. God's getting ready to flourish you. He's getting ready to He's getting ready to make you fruitful. I come against everything that the enemy is trying to bring against you. I come against every sickness that's trying to pull you down. I come against it now. High blood pressure. I come against it now. Heart of the Zakaya. Heart of the arteries. I come against it now. Low blood. It's got to come up in the name of Jesus. Come on, women. When you cry out, God hears your prayer. When you tell him yes, God will do something. When you say, Lord, here I am, God will step in your ministry. I need thee. Oh, I need thee. Every hour, I need thee. Oh, blessed, my Savior. I can't do it without you. I need protection. I need guidance. I need, oh, shall ya? Speak Holy Ghost. Speak Holy Ghost. Speak Holy Ghost. Open up your mouth. Begin to tell God, thank you. Even if you don't have a relationship, just say, Lord, forgive me. I thank you as my Lord and Savior. I need you in my life. I don't want to live like this no more. Just say, Lord, here I am. I remember this day that I came to the altar and said, help me, God, with my ministry. Baptize me. Fill me with the Holy Ghost. I need the Holy Ghost. And if you haven't spoken in a while, open up your mouth. While the power is here, God can fill you again. God can fill you again. Open up your mouth while you got your hands up. God's touching your hands, bringing healing into your hands, bringing deliverance into your hands. That when you leave here, you're going to lay hands on your children. They're going to act right. You're going to lay hands on your loved ones. Their dispositions going to change. You're going to lay hands on situations and God's going to raise it up. Come on, if you believe it, open your mouth. Say, God, fill me again. 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 Shut up. Hallelujah. 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 Before you go back to your seat, Listen, I'm going to tell you what to do. And you're going to see God erupt you in miracles and blessings. All I want you to do is when I count to three, I want you to give God a praise that won't wait. Y'all hear me, women? Give him a praise that won't wait. You're going to see God motivate you more in ministry. You're going to see God anoint you in your spiritual gifts. You're going to see God even anoint you in speaking again. When I count to three, 
You're going to feel the presence of God from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. I want you to begin praising God like you have lost your mind. Get ready because the blessings are coming one by one. The miracles are coming. One, two, three. 